Hello, everyone. It's time to play a game. You all pretended to cure me, but what I have planned for each of you is very real. I gotta know from you fellas, where do you dig in your souls, your twisted minds to come up with some of these, these devious type uh, torture chamber setups? This is unbelievable stuff. First, it comes from the writers, so we have to give them credit. Yeah. And then we take those ideas and we, you know, make them the best they can be. In this particular film, you know, we were inspired by Mexico. We we're inspired by the factory setting that we have and also the medical components, you know, that's a big part of this movie. And I think at their best, each of these traps or challenges are kind of a metaphor for the flaws or sins of the characters that find themselves in them. More than just what would be a cool way to torture somebody, it needs to fit into the story and have layers to it. If your life was in jeopardy, what would you do to extend your life, which is what John Kramer is trying to do. And push that envelope. Push that, and then when he gets offended, and decides to get even with the people that were not on the up and up. What would they do? I think everybody at some point has thought about, you know, I don't know if I could do that. You know, maybe I could, you know? And that's what we put people in life altering situations that people want to go, what if that was me? Peace came upon me, no light. The only thing I have not provided is your anesthetic. But trust me, you will want to remain alert. What does it mean to have someone like Tobin Bell leading the way to be the voice, the heart and soul of your film? We wouldn't be here if it weren't for Tobin Bell. It's an honor to work with him, it's a pleasure. When he disagrees, it's almost like having Jigsaw himself uh, staring you down. Because that's his but... character. He lives oh, and yeah. breathes. Oh, yeah. Right? He's a super sweet guy, but he has that presence. He clicks that character on when it's time, and everybody's just like, there he is. Yeah, yeah. I think Tobin Bell as Jigsaw. Looking back now, we just got blessed that he got cast in the role. I don't think any other actor could have continued this journey and, and wanted to and and done it as brilliantly as he has. He brings so much on every level. What does it mean to you as creators to have someone like that leading your troops? There's a certain consistency. You know, he actually writes his own dialogue. We'll have the writers will write and he will be like, this is what John Kramer would say. Then he'd say, this is what Jigsaw would say. And he actually does the work himself. I'd like to play a game. Perhaps one that addresses those sticky fingers of yours. All you have to do is click the dial across the five positions, and you will live to see another day. You have 60 seconds. Why do you believe that audiences have bought in so passionately to jump in and do this ride with you, this creepy, wild, tense, nonstop adventure? We're super consistent, we're super loyal, and I think that helps a lot in doing a franchise where it's not new voices and someone coming in trying to change it. Yeah, reboot it, yeah, take well, it in another I, direction. I, I can always have a better idea. So no, it's the same six people that have been part of this process for 20 years. They invite you to try and solve the puzzles and the mysteries that are built into each one of the Saw film stories. I think it's intellectually engaging for, for anybody to- Yeah, that's part of the fun. Yeah. The challenge. Live or die, the choice is yours. And it's cathartic on some level because after they go through all this emotion, you know, they get out of the theater and it's just like, oh.